Hi, I'm Vince Samios and I'm converting a shipping container into a tiny house style home office. In the previous video, I was cutting and welding the openings for the windows and door frames. So this video is about framing up the interior of the shipping container. I've not done this before. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm fluffing my way through referring to images that I've seen on the web or some of the projects I saw at Lion Containers. And so far it seems to be going quite well. Now I'm opting to use two by three inch timber and I'm positioning those in the, in the recesses of the corrugations of the container. And that gives me 50 mil from the top of the corrugations to the face of the, uh, the two by threes. And it gives me plenty of space to run cables and uh, it should provide a very strong fixing also for the, uh, for the plywood. The only tools I really seem to need for the uh, framing portion of the project is the chop saw, which you don't need. You could use a hand saw, but a chop saw is a lot easier and a good quality impact driver. Again, you could use a combi drill, like a cheap DIY combi drill, but these will just make it so much easier. Then I've got air protection and measuring tape. It's that simple. Now, I do also have a drill, but I've not really been using this for the framing portion of this project. The three fixings I'm using for this project are a 65 mil or two and a half inch screw, just if I'm going through the short end of the two by threes. I've also got 100 mil if I'm going through the long end of the, uh, the two by threes. And then I've got self tappers if I'm going into the steel. So these are just for drilling into the steel work directly. So I can secure the two by threes into the steel just with one of those. The cost for this part of the project was about 250 pounds for the timber and about 20 pounds for the fixings. So if you do want to help support this project, there is a link to my Patreon in the description. You get two main fixing points in a shipping container. One is the plywood floor, which is incredibly strong and you can screw straight into that. And the other is there's a steel box section which runs along the long sides of the container and you can screw into that uh, with some self-tapping screws as well. Now, although you can screw into the sides, you can't screw into the end, which I discovered the hard way. Uh, when I drilled through it, as soon as I did, I saw a light on the other side. Uh, so it seems that this is box section, but this is just a single layer of steel. So the two main fixing points are the floor and that box section that, run, that runs across the long sides. At the top of the container, I've got some roof joists and they're being pressed out with a piece of timber that's actually screwed directly into the steel work. And this holds all of the framework together. On the floor, what I have is a two by three screwed directly to the floor. Uh, that's attached to the two by three, which is running vertically in the, in the corrugation of the steel. And then I've got another two by three, which is running across the floor. And then in between each of those sections of vertical timber on the floor, as well as on the walls and the ceiling, I've got a few bracing points. So far, I think the majority of the strength in this framework comes from that one uh, self-tapping screw that goes into the, uh, the box section at the top of the container. So far it's going quite well. I really have kind of made it up as I've gone along. But the basic theory of the, the framing out is that each part presses itself out with another piece. So the walls are pressed out on the ceiling, the floors are pressed out by the floor joists, so it kind of pushes itself out to the edges of the container. Because the fixings between each piece aren't necessarily all that strong. This piece, for example, is quite loose, but that will be held in place with the, uh, the plywood but it doesn't really need to be as strong as when you're framing a house because you've got the, the steel work all around uh, that gives you a very, very strong solid fixing point. For me, one of the hardest parts of this framing has been the corners. There's not really anything that you can screw to because that's not a, uh, that's not a box section. You can't screw to the top section there. So the way that I've got strength here is from floor fixings, from the ceiling bracing points, which are obviously from points that are screwed into that uh, box section. And then it's just a case of screwing it together. And then when the plywood is, a, is attached, I guess, that should give it the rigidity that it needs. Also, when there's some spray foam behind there, that will hold everything quite solid. So although at the moment this isn't all that strong, um, it will get substantially stronger when there's that spray foam in there or when there's that uh, plywood on the facing. 
In the next video, I'm going to be installing the windows, but there's a few things that you could do right now. One is subscribe to this channel. Another is give this video a like. If you've got the means, there's a Patreon link down below, as well as a link to my Instagram. But for now, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.